Ladies and gentlemen, today we are celebrating and commemorating the 221st anniversary of the Battle of St. George's Key. It is an event that is well documented in the annals of our history. But what is most significant about this event is not only that it happened, but that it is a reminder of just how vulnerable our society is. In the context of that event on September 10, 1798. If the settlers of Belize did not successfully defend Belize or had decided on June 1st, 1797, when a vote was taken on whether to stay and defend Belize or to evacuate, if the settlers had not voted to stay and defend their home, then it is very likely that we as the inheritors of Belize would not be here today. That fateful event began with two years of preparations for the defense of Belize, and then ended with the successful victory over the attacking Spanish fleet and the eventual security of Belize for future generations. There is a story of origin about this day. And to me, that story is unlike any other. What we know is that on September the 10th, 1798, the Spaniards, after several failed efforts, made one final attempt at claiming our Belize. On that day, a battle ensued, and our forefathers, who we so admirably call the Baymen, thwarted those efforts and deterred the Spaniards permanently. As a result, we celebrate today as one of the key historical events leading up to an independent Belize. Hip, hip! Hip, hip! I refer to this tale as unlike any other because the Baymen were mainly enslaved blacks fighting alongside their white masters. Those masters gave an account of a battle wherein their faithful black brothers risked their lives to defend a colony that treated them so well. 